Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're actually building a Poke Center. Um, this looks like one of the newer Poke Centers that I could find, and I I really liked it. I liked the detail and the architecture of the building that they did. Um, but mine's a bit different compared to what I can do in Minecraft. So hopefully you do enjoy this. Please leave a sub if you have not. All the blocks I'll use are down in the description below. If you have any comments, any suggestions for other buildings, pixel art tutorials, videos to make, games to play, whatever. Please put them down there below or join the Discord server. Just put, hey, I want to join the Discord server as a comment and I'll send you an invite. Because sadly, Discord made it to be like a premium thing where you have to like pay for, you know, having more than 30 days for an invite. Um. <laughs> Okay, so for this, this is our base. Um, I want you guys to start off with six oak planks just placed down. And then from here, you're going to make sort of a square. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So a six by six square. And then this is going to be your interior walkway. Okay, and we're going to start to our left side here. You're going to need, out of your blocks, you're going to need red terracotta, red wool, red shulker, and your red nether brick. So you're gonna go and place to the side of both on both sides of your six, two red terracotta and two red terracotta. These sides are actually both the same, but I'm gonna do both separately. So we're gonna start to our left side here. You're gonna place down a red wool right next to the inner red terracotta, and then from there, I want you to place down eleven red nether brick. Okay. On those last ones, you place to the left. I want you to place two red shulker boxes on the end like that. Going back to our right side, you're gonna place one right here, as you can see as the building is. And then our right side side should be the same. You're gonna place two red terracotta in, in the inners like this, one red wool. Then you're gonna place your eleven red nether brick. You're gonna place your red shulker right here, just diagonal from that red wool. And then on this corner, you're gonna place two red uh, shulkers and then I would extend that layer back one and adding that to just right here with the red nether brick on both sides from there we're gonna work on our left side again and for this light for this one you're gonna start right here where you place this last one and it should be a total of 23 red nether brick going to the back like that from this last one, you're going to go to the right, and you're going to move in 32, and then you're going to go down again 23 like that. So it should connect into a big rectangle. All of your corners are going to have red shulker boxes, just like this. Boop, 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 boop. Our left side here, from each end should be 7 and 7, and your middle should be 5 apart. So. So you should have an air gap of seven, then you're gonna have a red shulker box, air gap of five, and then a red shulker box. For your back side, it should actually just be diagonal from your ones that we put up front. So it should be nine from the previous one right here. And then as well from this one over here from your right side corner right here, nine. Like this other side, on this right side, you're gonna have your seven, five, and then seven. Now I'm going to show you guys what to do on the front end. Um, I want you guys to build up your layer of red nether brick right here. Just like this. You want to grab your red wool and put them on top of your red shulker boxes. Oh, if I can. Red wool, red wool. Do I have red wool there? No, it's andesite. On top of this inner red wool, you're going to place one andesite. You're going to place red terracotta on top of the red terracotta there. Put an andesite, red wool, red wool, and red wool. For all of your red nether bricks that we placed around here, they're going to be the same. So where we just placed all those red nether bricks, you're going to extend that out with red nether brick stairs, just like this. On this side as well, it's going to be red nether brick stairs. And for all of your red shulkers, 
you're actually going to go up two. So all those red shulkers we placed go up to red wool. Boop, boop, boop. Ba doop, doop. Okay. For all this red nether brick, do the same thing like we did on the front. You're going to build it up. Oh, my lordy. Oh, my goodness. There we go. You build it up, and then you're going to place out those red nether brick stairs. I could probably do a zoom thing and just zoom through it. Just like this red nether brick stairs. Just like that. From there, you're going to be placing red concrete and on top of a duped up. So you're going to place red concrete on top of all the red nether brick stairs that you had placed. Just like this. On my original building, it shows red terracotta, but I meant to put red concrete just to keep the pattern going. There's a red concrete just like this all the way around on top of those red nether brick stairs from there you want to grab your red terracotta and on top of your red wool you're going to go up two four six eight ten red terracotta so two four six eight ten red terracotta so on top of all of your red wool you're going to go up red terracotta just like this and then from there, you're going to connect them. Oh, my lordy. This counts for all of your red wool. So on top of all of your red wool, you're going to go up that 2, 4, 6, 8. I think that's 10, right? 10 red terracotta. I guess I derped up. Yeah, that's 10 red terracotta. Over here, 2, 4, 6, 8. Just like that. Okay, is the doorway the same way? Yep, the doorway is also just across red terracotta. So your entire frame should be like this right now. Our next step, we're going to do the windows. So the easiest way I would say to do this is to place down andesite on top of this like layer of red nether brick we have here. Start placing down two layers of, or just two rows, or I don't know how you would say it, um, of just andesite like this. Just so then your interior looks nice and it looks like not so poo poo, should I say the least. And then of course, right here on the edges here, you're going to put down your red, I mean your andesite like that. Build up your doorway as well, another two red terracotta. Just so we're on par of where we're at. From here, you're going to place down and make like a box in every window. Oh, floop. I flooped up. We can edit this out. Okay. We flooped up. Okay. From here, actually on your sides... You're going to have mud bricks. I'm sorry. I flipped up. Your sides are going to be mud bricks. <laughs> Your sides are going to be the mud bricks. There we go. 
for your front windows. You're going to go up almost all the way to the top with your andesite. And then you're going to go just like as a box right here, just like that. So you should be going up two for six andesite. You want to grab your red wool again. And your top layer right here is going to be red wool. So these are going to be your windows for your front and your back side. You're going to want to grab now stripped oak wood, oak fence gate, and white stained glass. You're going to make an outline of stripped oak wood, just like this. From there, you're going to fill in with white stained glass. And then oak gates in the middle. Like that. This is window one. Window two is going to be the same. So all the way up to like this last layer here, and it's going to be like air blocks for now until we put the red wool down. Let's grab some red wool from over here. So your top layer of the window should be red wool like that. Then you should do your stripped oak wood. And then of course in the middle you fill it up with your white stained glass. And then you fill it in with your oak fence gate. Like that. So, so far we should have this, just the front end like this. Now for my uh, one that I did, we haven't done these planters yet. It's up to you. Um, you could do the planters. I have them on the front and the back because I used World Edit for them. Um, but you're going to want to grab mud brick. If you want to use a different type of grass, you could just use grass. You could use podsley. You could use whatever. But it's going to be just a simple. I think this is. It's a 5 by. Is that 8? Yeah, 5 by 8. A 5 by 8. It'll cover everything but the singular corner block right here popping out from the front. You fill that up with your grass and you'll pop in your oak slabs going around like this. And then just fill it up. So you can you can just do simple bushes like how the Poke Centers have, like this. If you have the head database, you can do that as well. Um, pop some berry uh, bush heads in there or some nice stuff like that. If you're playing on modded, of course you have more options than us. Uh, congratulations, you cool skis. Um, but both sides are that way, so it's an eight by five. No, eight by yeah, eight by five pl flower pot out in the front here. The flower pots that are on top of the windows or by the windows here, they're gonna be the third up. So you're gonna place down, and you're gonna make like a triangle like this, loop like that, right? Two, two, yep. Now you can put grass in here and then place down your azalea. So your second one up here, you're going to make your little flower pot, bloop, bloop, bloop. And place down your azalea flowering bush. Your doorway, I don't know how tall it is, that's seven. So your doorway should be seven terracotta. So we already got four here, five, six, seven. From there, you're going to then place two beside it. So you're on seven on both sides and then you're extending in the middle and then up two on top of it like that. Then you're just going to connect them in like an archway pattern like this. So, okay. The rest of this for the doorway is entirely andesite. So just fill in the rest of this all the way, even including this like red wool area with andesite like this. Okay. So, so far we should have the front sort of done. We're going to do this too real quickly. So, right where you put your flower pots, you're going to extend out with gray concrete like this. 
I'm going to put down two iron bars, bloop, bloop, and then a beacon just to make it look a bit spazzier, just to bring out more detail. On all of your ends for these, you're going to extend them out just like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Except for your back ones, your back ones also have lights on them like this. So we're going to just place down these light. Oh, I don't got the beacon. Um, where's the beacon? I'm going to search my inventory. Bloop. So we're going to put our lights on the end here. Bloop and bloop. And then from there, you're going to send out the rest of your ends like this. Okay. I'm debating what I want to do with my life now. Okay. We're going to work on our side windows now. If you heard me before, it was andesite, but it's actually mud bricks. Okay, and I'm sorry. So basically, you're going to fill out the frame, but your two layers right here are going to be mud bricks. So you could basically, for your sides, just do mud bricks. Mud bricks, mud bricks, mud bricks, like this. Your very middle part here is also mud bricks, so you could fill it up on both of your sides. So th that side right there, and then this side, which is going to be all the mud brick. If you want to add more detail, you can always use just regular mud, and you can put it in. So these sides are both the same. Um, I'll go over both side both sides with you just to have you guys just follow along a lot easier. And if you if you just do this side, and you get to the part of the tutorial where I do that side, and you just want to copy it and just be really easier, you could do that yourself. <laughs> um, so like we did with the front windows, you're going to do this frame of stripped oak wood. And then you're going to fill it in. You're going to put your oak gates. Bloop, 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 bloop. Over here, you're going to do your stripped oak wood, your frame. I'm not probably going to edit out that part where I screwed up with andesite. So then you're going to do your white stained glass. And then your oak gates. Like so. Like that. Okay. And then we're going to go do this side. I don't got mud. Okay. We're going to go do this side real quickly. Like with the other side. Um, you could skip this if you want to since we just did that side. You can just copy that side. Or you can do whatever. So like our top two layers here are going to be all mud brick. I would just fill in the corner if you're in survival so then you don't got mobs spawning in there. Um, your middle is filled with mud brick. Mud brick, mud brick, mud brick. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Okay, so we should have Remember, you have your mud brick frame. So your frame should look like this. So before we place in our oak, you should have a mud frame here and then a mud frame here. Your next thing you're going to do is you're going to place your oak stripped wood like this. Then your white stained glass in the middle. course your oak gates your stripped oak wood I also just built this today too so this is this is interesting to see if I remember how what I'm doing with my life then fill it in of course open up your gates like that so our back side I think it's just andesite in the middle. Nope, I did put a window. I am a dumbass. Okay. So build up. Just like how we did the front, you're going to go all the way up with andesite until you get to the last one. You want to grab your red wool. And just for now, we're just going to put it all the way across so we don't got to deal with all these little air gaps. Okay. And then you're just going to build up your frame. So you should have one visible andesite block showing just like this. 
like that. So now you're going to do this with every single window in the back. You're going to build it up. You're going to make that frame. Just like this. So you should have your frames ready. And then you're going to fill them with your stripped oak wood. If you want to, you could skip this part because I'm not good at editing. So this is just going to be all left in with me filling in the windows. Bloop, bloop, bloop. I don't think I'm on a open mode, so it takes too long. I'm sorry, I got. I always get Wii music stuck in my head. Um, boom! So we have the base of the building started. So I'm going to give you this tip for the interior. You can leave it on the ground floor if you want to, but I. I don't like that idea for my mind's sake. Um, what I would do for this interior, I would make another like layer of just like the doorway, just like that, um, bringing it in one more block. And then I would build this up with mud brick on the inside here, right where we put this red nether brick like this. And then I would build up a staircase going up here and then I would have it, like I have mine in there, I have it at a different elevation. So then people can be looking out the windows and all that fun stuff, since it's a bigger building. Um, so that's what I would do. And I would also, eat, like right here where this line is, I would put mud brick. I'll show you what it is like on the inside of mine. But that's, that's what I would recommend. Um, use whatever you can to like make your inside look nice like this um the next part i dread <laughs> this is this is the part where i'm gonna lose a lot of people um from this corner you're gonna do an up diagonal one pink terracotta then you're gonna build it all the way across so basically right here where this red is you're gonna have an indent now that's going to be all the way inside the, the entire Poke Center. So each corner is going to be this way with that little indent of pink terracotta like this. Like that. From there, we're going to do the front first. You're going to extend this out. Actually, your corner. let's work on your corners. Your corners are going to be red terracotta and pink terracotta. So you should place down like a diagonal like this going across and then extending out like that for red terracotta. And each one of your corners are going to be the same way like that where you're going to be having pink terracotta and then red terracotta just floating out here. You're going to have your pink terracotta. And your one red terracotta floating out there, your pink terracotta, and then your red terracotta floating out there. Makes it easier now. Um, from there, you're going to build out your uh, pink terracotta like this. So you're going to place one over one. Then you're going to place three pink terracotta on top of that, over one, and then up one. So you should have something like that. The other side is going to be the same way. You're going to build it out. You're going to go up. You should have the same uh, product from the other side. From there, you're going to put these, and you're going to extend them all the way to touching each other. 
on the other side. We're going to extend this red terracotta block up to this level. No, no, actually we're going to do one level above it. And you're going to place them all the way across like this. And they should have it extending out just above this uh, invisible air block for now. So you should have something like this so far. In these invisible hole blocks where there's nothing right now, put pink terracotta. Like that. Now, your top layer here is going to be indented and it's going to be pink terracotta. Like that. You want to grab your white concrete. You're going to build your pink terracotta going down like this. And it's going to be on both sides. Okay. Then you're going to grab your red terracotta and you're going to make it like indent in itself in. So then you could just have one straight line of white concrete. I don't know really know how to describe what this looks like. So um, just look visually. <laughs> then you have to fill it in with white concrete. Um, the bottom went easy. This this is this is what I was oofing about. So you should have the product like this. This is what we're gonna do with every single side. So I did it with this side. The back side is gonna be the same way. Um, the easiest way would be, we already put down our red terracotta. I duked up. Um, don't pay attention to this one. There we go. Oh, crap. The buildings are close together. Um, we're going to place down red terracotta. Or wherever we had the red terracotta before when we went over it, you're going to just connect them with that corner like that. You're going to keep going across. Bloop, 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 bloop. Red terracotta going up. And then red terracotta going this way. So we should have the frame now. Okay. So we're going to quickly work on this one. We're going to have the same little weird pink terracotta uh, deal with the corner being a little gap right here, like that. And from there, you're gonna build across. So basically just right under the red terracotta. Gonna have your weird red little thing, filling in with your uh, air block there. Your top layer of this is gonna be pink terracotta. Then you're gonna have it going down like this. It should be on this side. There's not a lot of room here. I thought I would have enough room. Um, so your bottom is going to be pink terracotta like that. And then, like how we did before, you're going to squeeze it in. More squeezed in than I am right now. With red terracotta and then white concrete that we're gonna go do it to this side over here so you should have your air blocks here but then you're gonna do your little like weird squiggly line again with your pink terracotta you're gonna build out across right under it for your last one you're gonna have that air block your weird pink squiggly line again to finish like that remember your top layer is gonna be pink terracotta like so. Then you're going to build it down like this on both sides. The only pink should be showing on this bottom layer are these corners right here. From there, you're going to squeeze in your white concrete in the middle after you place down this red terracotta. Sort of like a toothpaste line. So your white concrete goes in the middle, just like that. The same is going to be same is going to be over here. You're going to have your weird squiggly line, followed by going across on red terracotta, 
not but you're not placing one terracotta it's pink terracotta um then you're gonna do your squiggly line again followed by the weird end your inside should be pink terracotta going across indented like so then you're gonna be going down weirdly again just like this then you're gonna squeeze in your white concrete after you place down your red terracotta just like this and right now I didn't fix the inside of the roof so yours probably looks as bad as mine like I do in just the normal build a pro tip if you want to hide ugliness what I did for this one all I did was right above the red layer I put oak planks so then you don't have to ever look at the ugliness so our next layer after this after we got that little band done is gonna be purple terracotta and your purple terracotta is gonna be built inward but we have our pokeball in the front is that okay your doorway right in the middle here is two so right here you're gonna go right we should start right here okay physically right where this white is you're gonna extend out two on both sides there then you're gonna put out two pink terracotta again and then one on each one like that then you're gonna go up two, and then you're gonna go in just like this on your third one up your fourth one in is gonna be like that with the connections in the middle just like this from there up you're gonna put down up another two and then another little extension one in another extension of two in on both sides and then four like that I was like why does mine look worse than the other one I just did the same thing that was over there and then you can fill in this pokeball with white concrete powder So your Pokeball should turn out like that. For your purple terracotta. Fun little thing. It's going to just be extended out one layer and then extended back in. So all the way around, you're going to place purple terracotta like this. Like Bob Ross says, you just have happy little mistakes. When me, you have big mistakes. Okay, and then the fun part now is you're going to extend it back in. So wherever that red terracotta was on the previous layer below this, it's going to be uh, purple terracotta. So you should have it like this. Okay, next part is the roof. I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to need red nether brick and <laughs> nether brick. And it don't matter what pattern you do. Because I didn't care. And I don't care how your roof ends up. So like mine looks a bit junky. Because no one's going to see your roof. So <laughs> we're going to start with our left corner here. And I would say go up just start going up diagonally like this so every other one so you're gonna have two and then one two and then one and then two again okay 
No, no, you're not going to do that way. So you're going to have two, one, two, and then extended in one like that, like an X. From there, you're going to extend it in again, another two, and extend it in again, another two like that. On the other side over here, you can do the same thing. You're going to go up two like this, up one, and then up two again. Oh, my lordy. And then you're going to have the little X inside of it. From there, you're going to go up a corner like that, and then up a corner like this. So it should turn out like that. My roof, a bit janky because I didn't notice it till now. Um, from there, I would go in at least one, two, three, four, five. So go in five diagonals like this. So one, two, three, four, five. And then connect them in the middle here. Like that. Okay. Now we're going to do it with our back ones. Just simple and easy. You're going to go up like this. And then a corner. And then you're going to go up like that with a little X. Then you're going to go up again another two like that. Then you'll go up one more time and start building it in. So one, two, three, four, five. And then connect them. Loop. Your next quarter is going to be the same deal. Just follow me. You're going to do those two. One. Your X. Then you do your little bloopity corners like this. Then finally, you're going to go in again. One, two, three, four, five. Just like that. This is a pro tip for your roof. It don't matter how you build it with your red nether brick and your brick. What I recommend here is starting off with your purple block. Or your red nether brick. Don't matter. Just start building it up. So start by one block. And then your next layer is going to be one block. So one, one, one. And just like mis mismatch your roof. Make it seem different, you know? Because like if you look at the building, it's more bricky type. This, so this is what I did with that. I just did more bricky type. Um, your next layer after that. So I would do two. I would do I would do one, 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 and then I would do two for your roof. Your next layer after that is going to be, uh, I would say two. No, I would just say, I would just say fill in your roof after that. So for your entire roof, this is what I would do. I would do one layer, one layer, one layer, two, and then fill in the rest. So all the way across, just start doing this. One layer, bloop. Just mix match it, one layer, one layer, two, and then you're gonna do your th the rest of your layer as fully in there. And of course, just use your red nether brick and brick to fix it and fill it in. Going to the chimney. It don't matter where you put your chimney on your roof. I could care less. It is your build that you are building. You're going to need your nether bricks for this. I put it more on the back. So let me build out our back again. Like I said, just go around. Do one layer, one layer, one layer, and then two. Okay. How much? I need way more roof than that. Okay, let me see where I started this at. I have you on the back, but it should be. Started right about here. Yep. Okay, so this is the easiest way to do this. Um, right where you start your light, 
on your back. So back here, the same block line you have your light. I want you to place down. How big is this chimney? Seven by seven by five. So your chimney is going to be a seven by five. So from this one, you're going to go to the left. I mean, you're going to the right. I'm sorry. Seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to go five in. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's going to mess up with your rooftop um, deal, but that's okay. And with this, mismatch uh, as you're building this up, bricks and uh, mud brick. Just like this. I'm going to guesstimate how tall that chimney is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you build nine up. So you're going to do those nine, and you're just going to keep mismatching the brick with the mud brick. To save valuable time, I'm going to say screw it, and I'm just going to say mud brick. The totals I'll use is for the one that's over there, not for this one. So probably purple terracotta will be higher um, in the description below. But while this chimney is being worked on... Um, your tenth layer, you're going to go around. So place just down mud brick again. That's what I would do. And I would extend it out just stone brick stairs, just like this. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Then your next layer would be smooth stone. So all the way across and including in the middle is going to be smooth stone. like this fill that middle in your middle parts are going to be built like this so it's going to be like the little T crosses like this and then for me I built them up three so one two and then three just like this so the rest of what you guys need to do so if you pause the video and you started doing that good the roof needs to be finished so do the one 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 two and then the rest layer um, the roof will turn out better than mine. Um, what I did with the chimney as well is added the, uh, what you might call it, vines to make it look a bit more, I would say more, it's a chimney. Not A lot of people aren't going to be going up there and chimneys look cooler with vines. Um, but all you need to do, if you already finished the roof, congratulations. But the roof is what needs to get done. Um, and that's everything. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this Pixel tutorial. Please leave a like, subscribe if you have not. All of the blocks that I recommend are down in the description below. There are some that I'm going to probably say varies depending on. So like red nether brick, uh, brick, uh, red brick, those that I just quickly place down. Those vary on you depending on how you wanted to design it. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this Pixar, um, not Pixar tutorial, god diggity. This build tutorial, if you want any more recommendations, please put them down in the description below. I mean, comment section below. I can't talk anymore, but thank you for coming, and bye.